Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last lecture, we covered the as type method in NumPy and today we are going to learn about the difference between copy and view in NumPy. So let's get started. So it is copy versus view. So copy creates a new array. It's a new array and view is just a view of the original array. Don't worry. You'll understand it when we get into the code. Copy owns the data and view does not own the data. Those who have read database management system, they might be acquainted with the term view. So the changes made to copy will not affect the original array, but the changes made to view will affect the original array. So copy is just a new array, which is a copy of the present array. And view is just the same array with different name. The changes made to view will affect the original array. Now let's move on to the code. I've opened my terminal. Now I'm going to write Python 3 and hit enter. Now I'm going to import numpy as np and hit enter. Now I'm going to create an array with array name arr is equal to np.array and I'm going to pass a python list. Hit enter. Now array has been created successfully. So now I'm going to write x is equal to arr or array name dot view and brackets and hit enter. So I've created a view. Now I'm going to print the original array as well as I'm going to print the view. So print X. So th they both are the same. Now let's observe what happens. Or let's now make changes to original array and see whether they are reflected to view. So arr 0 is equal to 34. Now we have initialized the 0th index as 34. Now I'm going to print array as well as view to observe the difference. See the array has been updated and the view has been updated. So the changes in original array can affect view. So we can see that view is affected by the changes made to the original array. Now let's move forward and make a copy so now i'm going to create a copy so y or copy name So copy name or y is equal to arr dot copy and now I'm gonna write brackets and hit enter. Now a copy has been created. Now let's print the copy. So it is same as the array. Now let's see. What happens if we make changes in original array and their corresponding changes to copy and view? So let's make changes one more time. So I'm going to write ARR or array name and initialize the second index as 243 
So I've made changes to original array. Now let's see whether these changes are reflected to view and copy. So now I'm gonna print view. See, it has been updated. Now let's see what happens to the copy. Now we can observe that we have made changes to the original array and our view, which is denoted by X, has been updated or affected by the changes made in original array. But the copy remains the same. It has not been updated. So the copy Y is not affected by changes while view X is affected. Now let's move on to our next topic that is how to check if array owns its data. So this is basically a method of checking whether a given element is a copy or it's a view. So we know that copies owns data and view does not own data. But how to check this? So every NumPy array has an attribute base that returns none if the array owns the data. Otherwise, the base attribute returns the original object. Now let's take an example and understand it through a code. So I'm gonna write Python 3 and hit enter. Now I am gonna import numpy as np. Now I'm gonna create an array. ARR is equal to np.array and pass a list to it. So I've created an array. Now I'm gonna create a view as well as a copy. So for view x is equal to array name dot view or arr dot view and for copy y is equal to array name dot copy or arr dot copy. Now let's use base. So I'm gonna write print x dot base. So it returns the original array because this is a view x is a view so it returns the original array while y returns none because it's a copy so x dot base returns us the original array because it's a view so in today's lecture we covered the difference between copy and view and we also covered how to use the attribute base. So that's all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates. And please stay tuned with us for more lectures on this series. Thank you and have a good day.